All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Uh, let's talk about abandonment issues. Abandonment issues, mother or father, it could be both, um, where the child is feeling abandoned or um, the adult that has grown up from childhood um, and taking those issues into their relationships and, you know, their professional life. However, when a mother or a father um, has abandonment issues, such as uh, codependency, where they depend on someone, but they don't depend on their self, this is setting up a, a child for um, abandonment issues. Um, the mother or the father may have dreams that they want to follow in life, but they um, sacrifice those dreams for maybe the other spouse. Um, and what happens is there, there's a resentment. The energy is there. You can feel it. And the children feel it. One of the parents may not be home as much uh, because they feel like the important thing is to rise above any kind of scarcity or lack situations. Um, that parent may not realize that even when they're home, they may not be investing the emotional time that uh, the child needs. And so what happens is the child grows up in most cases to um, uh, kind of revere or duplicate these um, uh, ways of abandonment within their own life. They actually um, draw people also to them with abandonment issues. Now, when there is, um, you know, a child that is dealing with a mother or a father and one is absent, this is another case of abandonment. And what happens is, is that that mother or father can give that child a very happy, loving, you know, upbringing, but the part of the missing parent is going to be there, um, whether it's in a subtle way or um, an obvious way that the, the child um, shows the experience. Um, I know for myself subtly, um, it came up in my life. Uh, my father was um, a heroin addict, you know, and early in age. And I guess maybe from what he said, you know, he had been doing it even before I was born, maybe uh, or coming into the life. But his absence um, didn't seem to bother me because I had so many people around me, my mother and grandmother loving my cousins, aunts and um that kind of thing, uh, my great grandmother, that I felt the love. I felt the love growing up, yeah. Uh, but um, my father would come around and I would, you know, see his condition and not really understand what was going on with him. But I knew that something was wrong even at five and six years old because he just didn't look, you know, like um, I thought someone should look. I'll say that. And so as time, went on and I began to grow up and go into relationships in the teenage years, you know, um, I didn't identify with abandonment, you know, issues because I felt like I was okay. And I ex accepted the way that he chose to live his life. And um, I find that as I got older, those moments that a young woman needs her father's input was not there and because of that I began to um I, cho I chose people that actually had the same issues and you know it's a wonderful thing when you start seeing that you have challenges that you can identify with and then you can go back and fix them the first thing is identifying that it wasn't there. The person that you needed to show you how to live your life in the masculine area was not there. It's the same with, you know, a man and their mother wasn't there. She wasn't there. So you don't know how to treat a woman. Your father may not have been there and you don't know what a father is to do. With the absence of parents there, we can make it, but we have this school of life that's showing us, um, I say subtly for me, and some 
are experiencing it, you know, externally in a very um, dramatic way because they have to learn the lesson in order to overcome uh, the circumstances and the emotions of abandonment, such as domestic violence. The reason why people go back to um, domestic violence situations when they leave is because it's something that they grew up with, they saw. And yet, some people will not grow up with it, but it is um, the feeling of the abandoning, uh, abandoning of uh, the situation. And the, the abandoning part is almost where you feel like you're not going to get it back because women, you know, in some cases will fight for their relationships. And I believe that men will. I want to make this a neutral kind of discussion. The thing is, is that most women and men that are fighting, they don't know why they're fighting for it, right? They are, they're fighting because they love, but they don't know or they're not accessing um, the idea that they can't help the person that they're with to grow. That person has to be available to grow. So if you're in a, a relationship where there's little emotional stimulation, it's not going to come forward until that person can feel. You can't help them to feel. The reason why is because they have to identify with the feeling because whenever a person is abandoned in most cases, they will become emotionally unavailable. And I know this as well because uh, today I can say I'm available emotionally, but when I was younger, because my you know, father wasn't there, I see that is why I felt like I had to take care of myself and, and be strong and guard my heart because my father was not there. The protector, the protector wasn't there. The security wasn't there. And I had to learn how to um, find that protection for myself because I would often experience, you know, uh, situations where I still felt like I was not protected because my father wasn't there. Now, because my father wasn't there, that caused my mother to struggle. Yes. And because she struggled, I still felt the lack of protection. And I had to identify with it because yes, she loves me. Yes, my family loves me. But a lot of times we're not identifying with what is lacking and what's missing so that we can address it and bring it back into our lives within the way that we can, because it starts with us. You know, you have the power to change you. And that power is within you. Every one of us come here with life lessons, not one or two, but for however long we're in this world, we are here to discover areas of life that are weak within us. Emotional women and men, um, they're emotional, not because they are uh, just that they're weak, but there's an area that's reflecting a weakness that needs to be strengthened, such as abandonment. Being alone is not a bad thing because you have time to sit with yourself and learn things such as, should I really be angry about life or you know, a relationship or a work job that rejected me? You'll find that no, because the possibilities of life coming to you are greater than um, they were when you um, had to leave the job or you were um, in that relationship that had to come to an end, you'll find that greater possibilities can come. The thing about it is abandonment says, I don't want to let go of this. This is all that there is in life. There's nothing else. No one else can provide this, even when it's toxic. So when you start coming to these places and you see that abandonment is um, a part of your challenge. It, you know, some people will fumble around with the fact that they were raised with parents, but they don't identify with, well, my, par my parents were together, but they, they fought all the time, which brought up um, issues within me because that's what I saw. Whatever the subconscious mind registers and there is a lack of it's going to become a part of our lives to discover and challenge 
us to change it. All right. So you can always email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. I think this is a season uh, that we don't have to make ourselves see the truth, but everyone in the world is going uh, bonkers. You're not really going bonkers. You're just dealing with a lot of energy, the sand. It's time to level up. And I have some um, t-shirts that I ordered uh, and you'll see that right there on the screen. Um, I am a queen, level up kings, because we have to take our rightly position in life. And if we're ever going to really attain anything in life beyond material, because it's necessary to attain beyond material in order to get to what I'm talking about, there's no self-discovery, no self-help without you going into the deep, deep calls unto deep. And, you know, I want to, I want to address, you know, some things that Jesus said that show us also that, um, you know, he felt abandoned and alone at times because it gets that deep in the darkest hour of uh, the, the crucifixion, which is where you find the abandonment issues when you come to your crossroads. Jesus spoke of um, or said to God, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? I know that you remember that. And if you remember it, it can take you deep into a place where shallowness will no longer be a part of your, your life. And what you will do is begin to look at things from an in-depth um, point of view, a depth as well in-depth, meaning from inside of you, so that you can really heal on um, dimensions that you have never touched before, because the spirit calls us deep, calls unto deep. And the reason why is because it wants you to have a better life. And a better life does not come only through physical means. It comes through a balanced um, life, which means that spiritual uh, devotion and incorporation is necessary. So Psalms 27 says, for my father and mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my foes. And yes, when people read about foes, they talk about external enemies, but you can overcome external enemies when you realize that abandonment meets you face to face in the external realm because you and I need to go within to put abandonment to rest. That is a devil within you and I um, that has to be put to rest rest. It has to be addressed that I'm okay being alone. I don't need someone with me all the time. Um, it's not being independent where you don't need someone. It's saying that I love myself for who I am. And what that means is that I'm not so attached to others that when or if a relationship uh, breaks, that it's going to break my whole life apart. You see, that takes away um, the stench of being angry because you know that you need time to yourself. Uh, you may have a partner that um, needs time to their self. It doesn't really mean that they are doing something unethical. I mean, we could get to that place. What it means is, is that I respect you and your space. I respect that you need something and I am strong enough to give it to you. I trust you, by the way. And so this is what you're addressing and my addressing abandonment issues um, will uh, get us. It will get us to a place where we are no longer um, drawing spiritually people to us that um, help us to heal an issue, but people um, will come to us now that have healed in their uh, beingness that abandonment issue uh, because we have uh, healed it. 
you see. And that's how uh, life is because everything is about attraction. Um, the attraction of abandonment is around anyone that has not dealt with it because we are all energetic beings. So yes, it goes deep. And if this is something that you're dealing with, it's something uh, worth exploring so that you can heal. Your healing will be going into the deeper re recesses of you and embracing the pain that many, many people avoid. Avoidance is an enemy. If you avoid going in to look at this, it could cause you to have an unhappy, happy, uh, unhappy life. And the reason why is because the individuals that have abandonment issues, they, they run when the critical times come where you and a partner have to sit down and discuss things. Um, it's their way or no way, my way or the highway. And that's not a relationship. Uh, people that have abandonment issues are in a relationship with themselves. They really haven't heard what um, their spouse has to say or their partner. And this is not something that you should just say, well, you know, I'm going to pick up and leave this person. It's worth um, visiting therapy or, you know, coaching to find out how to heal yourself. The other thing is, is that your partner may not be ready to heal when you have identified that it's time for you to heal. And so um, this is something that you have to be aware of that the path can be lonely, but the better you is calling you into the deep. Uh, oftentimes when you take that um, walk and you look forward and not backwards, what will happen is you will see your life beginning to change and the peace that you may have imagined will become a part of your life because you were not fearful to stay in what wasn't working anyway, or to stay in yourself uh, where you weren't working in the relationship good, but you have now begun to invest in yourself to make you a better person. Sometimes that person will come with you and truly sometimes they will leave because they're not consciously aware that they have problems. They don't even know how to fix themselves when they know they have problems. And really, some people honestly don't want to fix this up because it takes work. But this is what, you know, I wanted to discuss today um, and the abandonment issues. They are real because when you find yourself in a place and there's memories of you and someone, uh, you, you raising your children, um, how well do you deal with that? But would you even take the chance of experiencing or exploring yourself? You see, the chance of exploring yourself is so important because there's so much to you that you have not known because when you're in the midst of people, it's hard to really understand you. You take yourself out of the equation, step back. And what happens is you're, you're able to see you, your own faults, your own good, and those faults are what you begin to work on. And then your peace will come because you'll say, well, you know, I know I can be, you know, off the chain, but I know that I've risen above and I can maintain my emotions now because I addressed them. It's not just looking and addressing them. It is shedding tears because in those times, what you realize is that you hurt people. You hurt people because you were hurt. And now you're able to heal to be that better person. Embrace yourself for the things that you did that you find you don't like. Embrace yourself for who you are and what you are becoming. All right. So you guys have a wonderful day. Email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. And of course, if you need any um, coaching in this abandonment issue, then send me an email 
the link will be also available um, for my coaching um, website where you can sign up for an appointment. I might be glad to help you and um, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.